All right, Bob, we're going to talk about low back pain and some mid-back pain stretches for seniors. I, I just had a conversation with a friend, and her mother, who's in her 90s, wants some exercises just like this, and I know there's thousands of other people. You don't have to be a senior either. We're going to show five stretches that can be done in bed. But be careful if you have osteoporosis. Right, we'll talk a little bit right. more about that. And we're gonna do five in the chair. Good options, hold on, 9.3 seconds. You'll love it. Yes, absolutely. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, to get the most benefit out of these stretches, we're going to show 10 of them, but more than likely, there's only going to be two or three for an individual that are going to work well for them. Now, if any of them, so as we go through them, you can go through them, put it on pause. Any of them create any sharp pain, you scratch that one off. They should only be done, and you should continue to do them if they feel like a good stretch while you do it, as well as afterwards. Uh, so repetitions, you can do two or three repetitions, more if you want. Uh, 15 to 30 seconds, and even shorter is okay. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Should we start with the seated position exercises? You can do them when you get out of bed and sit like Bible. Let's do it. Show like as if you're sitting at the edge of the bed. I'll do it as if sitting at a chair at the dinner table. So the first one we're going to do is rotation. So if you got armrests, you can put your hands here. If you don't, that's okay. And you're simply... Look behind you while rotating the shoulders, rotating the neck like you're backing up a car. Gentle. And, yep, it's all gentle. If it feels good and it helps to grab the armrest of your chair to give a little pull, if it feels good, do it. Do not get aggressive with this, particularly the first couple times you do it. Make sure you go to the right and to the left. It might hurt to the right, but feels good to the left, so don't do the painful side. Do the side that feels good. And then in a week or so, come back and test the other side. Okay, let's go to number two. The f next one is, this is one where if you have osteoporosis, do I, not do, do this not one. Do this one. Right. We're no gonna matter what. Yep, because that can actually irritate this, the problem and cause a problem. We're going to, but if you don't have that and this feels good, sit and just... Reach for your toes. Grab your ankles. Yep, grab your ankles. Now, don't get carried away. Grab your ankles and pull really hard. It's a gentle stretch. Yep, gentle. Down, breathe, relax, and come back up. Things are going slowly, gently, and just allow the muscles to stretch. Don't force them. So five, maybe ten of those after you do them for a while. Uh, the next one, fingers. Right behind the ears, you know, assuming you or don't have knuckles. shoulder problems. Pardon? Or knuckles. Or knuckles, whatever, whatever turns yeah. you on. And we're just simply going to stretch back. This is a nice posture stretch for the back. Now make sure you relax and breathe on all these. Five repetitions, more if you like, if it feels good. Okay, now this next one, if you're sitting in a chair, you can actually go back back to here. If you're sitting at a bed, you'll have to be careful because it's Bob's famous hallelujah. hallelujah stretch up like this and back. Praise I, the Lord. That's right. Now, if you're in a bed and you do that and you lose your balance and you actually go back, well, hopefully you don't have a wall to so bump your head on. Right. So be careful with this one. Uh, again, shoulders, if your shoulder hurts on one side, just do what you can. You may need to go with this. It may not be one for you. And the last one, seated. You take a stick like this. I've got one of these broomsticks or, or, a or a booyah stick or whatever kind of stick you may have. It needs to be four or five feet long. And you just put it up. And you can do it like Bob is doing with one hand. You can do it with two hands in front. And then you just... Lean forward or to the side, and you stretch out. Now, this is a like decompression, so it should feel good. If it doesn't, again, do not do it. You can do it to the side, both hands over. And what happens is when you reach up as far as you can and you do the leaning, you'll feel that give the stretch that you need. Or, again, follow how it feels. All right, so that's the seated ones. Do the ones that work, feel good. Avoid the ones that don't. We're going to do the ones in bed laying on your back. 
Okay, now these stretches can be done in bed, lying on your back. You can do them when you get up in the morning before you get up. Just make sure you take your time with them. Uh, and in the middle of the day, go lay down, do them. If you want to do them two or three times a day, that can be a nice way to keep things moving in your back. So the first one, I call it the windshield wipers. So bring up your knees. Your feet will be on the bed here. Make sure your feet are together and touching. Knees are together and touching gently and Go right to left, and make sure you relax with all these stretches naturally. Bob's shoulders are staying uh, flat on the bed, okay? And look what happens. His hips are rotating a little bit. Goes back, this hip comes off the ground, so you get that low back, and it gets a little bit of the hip as well. Uh, it should be pain-free if it hurts going to the right, but it feels good going to the left. Just go to the left. And then after a few days, test it to the right again. It'll probably loosen up. Listen to your body again, no pain. All right. Okay, the next one. This is a, a real nice one. Most people tolerate it well. Again, starting in this position, we'll start with the right knee. Sorry, Bob. Let's, let's do, right knee. And simply pull that knee towards your chest. Should feel like a good stretch. It gets the hip, it gets the low back. Leave this knee up and do that five to 10 times. Just pressure on, pressure off, breathe, relax. If this feels good, you may want to put this leg down and that's gonna feel different. It gets the other side a little bit more. Again, do it if it feels appropriate and good. Make sure you do the right leg and then do the left leg in the same manner. How you feeling, Bob? Terrific. Feel like going to sleep? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it. let's go on to number three. Okay, now this next one is similar to the first one, but it's a little more advanced. So if the hook line windshield wiper is doing well and you're going right to left and it feels like, oh, I need a little more stretch, Bob's going to demonstrate how to do it. There you go. So you take this leg and the gravity is just going to pull this leg down and it's a little more aggressive. Again, this is more advanced. Only do it if the other one feels like it's too easy and you want a little more. Take your time with it. Uh, if your bed's by a wall, yeah, well you, <laughs> you have to be careful for that. All right, very good. Easy one if it works for you. Next one. Uh, this next one is for uh, the back. You may need another person to help you, but you have to get one pillow underneath your mid-back and then lie on that and... There you go, and that stretches and arches the back. Now, this may not be comfortable if it's not. Again, avoid it. How you feeling, Bob? Good. Now, he, Bob's got his arms up like this. That's a little more aggressive as opposed to down here. So if this feels like good, but you want more stretch, bring your arms up, yep, and you can bring them way over your head like that. Now, some people may have an issue with their neck. If you've got a tight neck, you may have to do this with a pillow under your head. Uh, again, difficult one to do by yourself. Someone, it's easier to position the pillows, uh, so it's limited, but I wanted to show it because some people will do well with it. All right, the last one, this one's kind of nice because if you're someone that sleeps on their side or, or is comfortable on your side, it works well. So Bob's lying in this position. He's going to take the top arm just like this and stretch back. Good, now you notice his hips are about the same. He's feeling a stretch throughout the low back as well as that mid back. And just go like that, bring it up, relax. Uh, open the book. Open the book up, exactly yeah. right. Stretch those things out, really allows you to breathe better. Again, five repetitions, just like Bob is doing, hold it. If it feels good, you can hold it there a little bit longer. Again, the first time with all these, don't get too aggressive. Only do the ones that work. Again, probably two or three are, are going to be for somebody out there. Put the other ones aside. Come back to them if you want. Wow, Bobby, you're feeling stretched out. Yeah, that, sure am. Yep, the back and the body that and the does. mind is all ready for the day now. All right, very good. Once again, we can fix just about anything except, except for, for a broken heart. That's right, but we're working on that, and we'll probably be working on it well, for a long time. <laughs>